Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I would want to look at one of the up and coming tools for data orchestration. So right now I'm running all my Python script just from the PyCharm and I want something more sophisticated, something that has a dashboard, a scheduler and a nice user interface so I can run my data orchestration flow with just one click. And when I did research what's on the market, there was a Apache Airflow, which I tried but failed to use because it's so complicated, my brain just blew up. And recently I read about two new tools. One is Prefect, which is made by someone who was contributing to Apache Airflow codebase. So Prefect is something like Apache Airflow 2.0, but much better. And aside from the prefect, there is also a tool called Dexter. And Dexter is created by a creator of GraphQL. So this should be a very promising tool. But today I want to focus just on Prefect because from the pictures, Prefect has very nice and beautiful dashboard. And this is number one criteria that I'm after right now. So let's get started. First, what I want to do is create testing folder just for this exercise and I will call it folder prefect. And now I want to go into this newly created folder. So I will just type in CD prefect and I want to initialize virtual Python environment by using pip environment. So I will type in pip env shell. And now let's see what prefect doc says. So I will Google prefect docs and I will click on documentation. And I want to start with getting started tutorial. So to install prefect, I have to type in pip environment install prefect. Installation failed because Visual Studio is not installed. Get in from visualstudio.com. Microsoft Visual Studio C++ 14.0 or greater is required. So I will go to Visual Studio C++ PP Build Tools and I will download the Visual Studio. So here I will download by clicking on Visual Studio. The file is downloaded. I will double click and run the Visual Studio installer. I will go through the installation wizard and just click next. Okay, it seems like the installation started and I will just choose another path for the installation. So I click install. Installation succeeded. Cool. So right now, if I try to install Prefect again, just hope that it will work. Okay, it seems like another error or it's the same one. Microsoft Visual C++ 14 on greatest required, but I just got it installed. So I guess I have to go to this URL and install it from there. So I guess I have to try to install Visual Studio Community. So again, I double click on the Visual Studio installer. Okay, I will choose another folder. I guess there's no more options, so I will just click install. Do you want to continue without workloads? The Core Visual Studio editor can open folders, edit files, and manage work items. I guess I didn't expect to get stuck right in the beginning because of some dependencies that I don't have. I thought that it would be just a simple install Python library and I will be good to go, but I guess not. It seems to finishing up. Come on, come on, 99%, just 1% more. All right, it seems to be installed and I guess I can close it now. I don't want to deal with Visual Studio right now. Okay, let's try to install Prefect again for the third time. And again, Visual Studio is not installed. What the hell is going on? I think I missed something in the Visual Studio installer. So let's run the installer again. And here, let's click on C++ build tools. And maybe I will need this C++ command line support version 14. Okay, so I need to restart the computer. Not now. I will look at the installer for Visual Studio Community so I don't miss anything important. So let's click on Desktop Development with C++. I will also click on 
support for build tools and i guess there's nothing more to add to the install so let's install it all right before i restart my computer just let me quickly try the installation again if it fails i will restart the computer I'm so glad I don't have to restart my computer, so I will close Visual Studio Installer and I will wait for the installation to finish. Cool. So I will visit tutorial again. I have installed the prefix and I might need some extra dependencies. Let's look. All extras include all optional dependencies. Tool for developing prefect itself. No, I don't need that. Templates tool for working with string templates. I don't know if I will need that either. I won't use Amazon Web Services. I won't use Azure. I won't use Google Cloud or anything that is on this list. So I will skip this part and I will try to run the prefect backend server. So let's execute this command. The backend switch to server, whatever does it mean. The next step is to start the server with a prefix server start and i got another error the system cannot find the file specified but which file okay one last chance i will restart the computer so see you in the minute after restarting i figured out that i made a rookie mistake i actually didn't read the documentation to the last word in the part of running the local server and ui there's a little part that tells you that you should install docker compose and of course i did not have a docker installed as it turns out server.py actually calls the docker it actually checks that the docker is installed and if not then it will throw the error and this is what happened so after the restarting my computer i installed docker desktop so be sure to follow this link docker desktop install the docker and you are good to go so now i will try to run prefect server first i will again run my virtual environment and i will start the backend server And it seems that it works. It's downloading some libraries as it seems. Okay, I will allow Docker backend to access firewall. And finally, we can see the welcome to prefect server. This looks good. To reach the prefect server, visit HTTP localhost at the port 8080. So I will try it right now. Cool. It seems like Docker uses materialized design. It looks very familiar. So what do we have here? Prefect core homepage. Welcome to your prefect UI. Okay, it's only some information about how to run the server with the links to the tutorial. I guess the dashboard is something that I will use every day if I choose to use Prefect. Here I see overview, run history, summary of the last runs, failed flows, upcoming runs, agents, no agents running, zero run in progress and notifications. In the flow, I guess there should be a list of running flows with the information about the version when it was created and its history and the agents i guess that's just list of the agents that runs the flows what's this interactive api enter your query mutation here i don't get what is it for but we will look at it later here is the list of all notifications and that's all. So the prefect core is pretty much a really nice looking dashboard where you see how the flows are running and their status. Okay, I guess it's time to create a first flow. So again, fire up the prefect tutorial and I guess I should create prefect task. So in the prefect folder, I will create a new Python file. Maybe let's call it main.py and let's import task from prefect and add this hello world function. So it seems like in order to say what kind of task you want to run, you just add decorator task on top of the function that you want to turn into the task. Now, in order to run the task, I need to add the task into a flow. 
So let's import flow from prefect and try this code. And here I will replace this task with my say hello task. And now if I want to run the flow, I will just call flow.run. So I created the flow, my first flow. And now if I want to execute the flow, I guess I have to register the flow with flow.register. Okay, after registering the flow, it should be possible to run main.py file and we should see the prefect flow in our dashboard. Okay, the execution failed on uh, name add is not defined. And because I copy pasted this code with the add function, I need to look back into the tutorial if I missed something. It seems like I mixed up the code from various part of uh, this tutorial. And actually instead of calling say hello equals to add, I should call just say hello. Now if I save the file and run the command again, let's see what happens. Okay, another error. It is starting the task say hello and it finished and the flow run with the status success. But then I get the error project name is required field when registering a flow. All right, so let's look at the, the documentation again. When I registration the flow, I should edit a project name. Yeah, so flow.register takes one uh, input variable which is project name. So let's add project name and call it hello world. And now if I run main.py file again, yeah, it should be a without error, but still project hello world is not found. Run prefect create project hello world to create it. So I need to define the project somewhere. So I will have to create a new project with this code. So I will just import client from prefect. I will initialize client object and create project where the project name is hello world. So let's see if this will work out of the box. Yep, so the project is uh, registered within prefect, the task and flow ran with success. And now let's look at the dashboard if we will see any runs here. Unfortunately, I don't see any flows. Oh yeah, so in the flows, I see that my flow just ran a minute ago. I guess the, this switch allows you to reschedule the flow to another time, but I don't have any schedule set, so it doesn't work right now. So this flow is active according to this icon. And if I click to the flow, I see that flow has its own detail page. It even show you the schematics or the graph of your flow dependencies. And I guess I can uh, run the flow again with this button. So let's try to click again. And it seems like that the task or my flow was scheduled and right now it has a pending state. No logs, no gun chart, simple schematics. So maybe if I run it now, something will happen. Okay, the task is still pending and I'm not sure what's going on right now. Is it running? Is it pending? I just clicked start now, but I don't see that it finished. So maybe set the state. Should I add the state manually? Success maybe? Yes. Confirm. I marked it as a success, but still the task has still a pending state. I'm so confused. All right, now we see that it updated the dashboard and there we see the task that I just marked as success. It showed here on the dashboard. All right, I guess I will need more time to just go through the documentation to see how to control the dashboard, how to tie everything up, because right now it is a little bit confusing for me to fully control all the flows from the user interface. But before I end this video, I want to try one more thing because right now most of my data pipeline Python scripts use asynchronous programming. And I wonder if Prefect also can run the functions that use async IO. So let's modify our script a little bit. So I will try to import async IO and I will make this say hello function asynchronous by adding async in front of the definition. Then I will add a timer. I will make this function sleep for five seconds, save it. And if I register the flow again, I guess I have to do it every time I edit the script. So let's do that. It gives me error, say hello, 
was never evaded. So it seems like that Prefect does not work well with asynchronous programming and it doesn't understand that when it runs this asynchronous function, it should wait for it to complete. Maybe it can work in that way that I have to first call the asynchronous functions by using async io. So let's add await async io gather say hello, for example. I will give it a task decorator and I will make this a pure function dev test and I will remove decorator from the say hello task. And of course I have to change the task in the flow instead of say hello. I want to run the task test. All right. And now if I run the main.py again, it throws an error await outside async function. Okay. It seems like I have to add async in front of the task definition. What about now? Still coroutine test was never awaited. So this is a kind of a deal breaker for me because without using async IO, I guess my data pipeline will be much slower than with using async IO. And using Prefect itself doesn't improve my data pipeline in terms of performance. It might be better in terms of logging and in terms of controlling my scripts from beautiful user interface. But I am all about performance. I'm all about squeezing every second from the API calls. So I guess this is a no-go for me and I won't use Prefect for my data pipeline scripts. So those were my first impression from using Prefect orchestration tool. To summarize, it has really beautiful user interface using material design. It can schedule your task and flows. You can model your data pipeline and its dependencies quite easily. And I think that if I spend more time with the documentation, I could easily build a production ready data pipeline by using Prefect. But for now, it is not suitable for my needs because all my scripts are written with using async io and because it doesn't support asynchronous coroutines it doesn't make sense for me to rewrite all my scripts to use prefect.io so those are my first impressions write in the comment below what do you think about prefect what kind of data orchestration tools you use and don't forget to smash the like button subscribe if you haven't done already and see you in the next video